pick up there is that there are, I guess, three pairs of names, and just kind of removing them from what ratio they represent for the moment, there are three pairs of names. Each pair has one name, and then the other, the, the other one has the same name with co in front of it. So there is sine and cosine, and secant and cosecant, and tangent and cotangent. Okay, so there are, and there are relations between those that I'm going to just present to you now. And um, I'm not sure whether you've picked up on these yourself, just normally, but um, we'll uh, see how they go. So let's consider a right angle triangle here. That's a right angle here. And that angle there is theta. And let's, let's, uh, let's use radians now, because we've been using angles a lot, uh, degrees a lot, but it's nice to use radians. How many, how many uh, radians is the angle sum of a triangle? We know that in degrees it's 180, but how many, degree, how many radians is 180 degrees? Pi. Oh. Pi, that's right. And so how much is a right angle in radians? Um, yeah, okay. So 180 degrees is the same as pi radians, and 90 degrees is the same as pi of the two radians. Okay? And so if this is theta, well this, so well that's pi of the two first of all, these two angles must add up to also pi of the two radians. Okay, so this one here is pi of the two, and together these two add up to pi of the two. Yeah? And so if this is theta, we can call this one pi of the two minus theta. Okay? That's, a, that's what that angle is there. Okay, and when we've talked in degrees, so we talk about this is 90, and that's theta, and that's 90 minus theta. We're, we're comfortable with that in degrees, just get used to them in radians too. So, let's have a look at this one here. Let's, let's not label these things. Let's call this one x, y, and z. Okay? So, sine of theta in this triangle is what? Uh, um, it is the uh, y over the z. Yep, okay, y over z. Now the cosine of what angle would also be y over z? Which of these angles there would give a cosine of y over z? Yeah, we're looking for a j, so I'll put this. Yeah. So, sine of a th of an angle is y over z, and this one here. The cosine of that of the complementary angle, pi over two minus theta, is the same ratio. Okay. Sine of pi over two minus theta. Equals x over z because of what angle equals x over z? Which angle in here has a cosine value of x over z? Just theta. Just theta. Yeah. Okay. The relationship between sine and cosine is such that the sine of one angle is equal to the cosine of its complementary. And that's where the co comes from in cosine. It's saying that those two ratios are related in complementary angles. The sine of one angle is exactly the same as the cosine of its complementary. And the sine of an angle is exactly the same to the cosine of its complementary. Okay, complementary, just to remind you, means the two angles are up to 90 degrees or pi over 2 radians. Okay, and so the sine and the cosine are exactly the same for one, for two angles that are complementary. Okay, and you can see that's going to be always the case because in a right angle triangle, the other two angles that are the right angle, the other two angles are always complementary, and the sine and the cosine are always therefore the same value where one is one of the angles and one is the other angle. Okay, sine of one angle, cosine of the other angle, they're complementary angles. And they're going to refer them to the same side. From here, the opposite over hypotenuse. And from here, the adjacent over hypotenuse, the sine and the cosine. 
Okay, does that make sense? Okay, this actually also occurs for any of these relationships. So let's consider these two here, tan and and, uh, and cotan. Okay, so in this uh, in this same triangle, tan of theta equals what? Which one's ten? Y over X, opposite over adjacent. That's right. The cotan of which angle is Y over X? And we're going to just look at that table, but it means adjacent over hypotenuse. Sorry, whoa, whoa, that's wrong there. It should be opposite. I wrote that wrong. Sorry, wrong mistake. It should be opposite there. Adjacent over opposite. The cotan of what angle is that one? Yeah, but no, which, which angle has, has y over x as its cotan? So again, from which angle is y the adjacent? From which angle is y the adjacent? Up here. And does it have x as its opposite? Yes. Yes. And so adjacent over hypotenuse, uh, over opposite, adjacent over opposite, Adjacent over opposite, so that angles cotan equals that. Or cot, is what we want to say. Okay? So the tan of theta opposite over adjacent, y over x, the cotan of pi over 2 minus theta adjacent over opposite, y over x. So those two again are related complementarily. So the tan of one angle is equal to the cotan of its complementary. Again, for the same reason we had over here, in that in, in any right angle triangle, the other two angles are always complementary. Just by definition, that's what they are. Because all the angles in a triangle add up to pi radians, and if there's pi over 2 here, then the other two must add up to pi over 2. Okay? 